Watch you guys, just when you thought it was safe to update Windows 10 again, you're going to be hit with another issue, which is another blue screen of death from the latest patch that they released on Tuesday. You're going to get a blue screen of death just like this one, which is 0XC000021A. This has come from the latest patch from Microsoft on Tuesday when they rolled out the latest update. And uh, basically, it's just another serious operating system glitch that they've released without testing. Now, this is, of course, going to cause you massive problems and, of course, massive headaches. And this has become uh, pretty much the norm for Windows 10 updates. And this is why I always tell people never to update Windows 10 straight away and pause it so you don't run into this issue. So the symptoms are considering the following scenario, you install Windows 10 on a clean computer. Number two, you turn on the system protection and then create a restore, system restore point that is named R1. Three, you install one or more Windows 10 updates or four, after the updates have finished installing, you restore the system to the R1 system restore point. In this scenario, the system is not restored to the R1 system restore point. Instead, the computer experiences the stop error code 0XC000021A. Your computer will restart basically, uh, but the system cannot return to the Windows desktop, which means you're now stuck with a blue screen of death. Now, Microsoft states the cause is a known issue with Windows 10. During the system restore process, Windows temporarily stages the restoration of the files that are in use. It then saves the information to the registry. When the computer restarts, it completes the staged uh, operation that it was set out to do. In this situation, Windows restores the catalog files and stages the driver.sys files to be restored. When the computer restarts again, however, the computer restarts, Windows loads the existing drivers before it restores the latter version of these uh, drivers. And uh, basically, uh, because of this, the driver versions do not match and the versions of the restored catalog files, the restart process will then stop and then you will get this blue screen of death. So is there a workaround and is there a fix for this? Well, Microsoft have posted up a workaround to try and resolve this issue and to recover from the failed restart. So let me just show you how to do this. Now I'll show you the full process in a second, but basically what will happen is that after the system fails to start, you should be able to restart the computer and then enter the Windows recovery environment, which is your WinRE. And to do this, basically you're gonna to need to uh, get into the troubleshoot area, which I'll show you in a second, and I'll show you the full process of what to do to get this to uh, get back into the system restore mode. You need to disable uh, the driver signature enforcement, and I'll show you how to do that as well in this video a little bit later on. So basically there is a workaround for it, but this can all be uh, avoided if you don't update to Windows 10, the latest version, all the time. There's a lot of people on YouTube that are telling you to update to Windows 10 straight away. Don't do it. You're just going to cause yourself a load of issues. Basically, what you want to do is pause those Windows 10 updates, which you uh, should be able to do because I've made loads of videos showing you how to do that. And basically, wait until the updates have been rolled out. All the bugs have then been fixed, and then you can update at a later date, maybe in a month or two months or three months time when all the bugs and all the issues have been resolved because what's going to happen is every time Microsoft release a Windows 10 update, which is a major update like these, there's always major problems and guess what? It's going to be you that suffers and of course this one is just another issue that you're going to have to deal with, which you should have never really had to deal with in the first place. Now as a beginner user, it's going to be quite difficult to do so I'm going to show you the steps how to do it. Once the system restarts you want to get into the troubleshooting area which is this area here where you can get to choose an option. You want to drill down to where it says troubleshoot and select troubleshoot. Now this will normally happen after you've had three failed attempts of a reboot. You'll get into this area here it will automatically take you here. Go into the advanced options area here and once you get into the advanced options area you want to go down to where it says uh, startup settings, drill down to that and just use your 
arrow keys or you can use your mouse select this area and you should now see a restart area but you're we're looking for the disable driver signature enforcement here click restart you would then see this screen where you need to click on 7 on your keypad or F7 on your keyboard and this will then uh, disable the driver signature enforcement and this will allow you to then uh, reboot the system you will then get to this screen and it should then con uh, continue the system restore process now this does take a long time so be patient I've speeded this process up but the system restore process will start to resume and then hopefully by the end of the system restore process you should start getting the Windows loading screen like this where it's starting to uh, boot up to Windows and hopefully you'll get to the login screen and then log into the desktop and if that is then complete you have then completed the system restore process now if you're one of these people that have already updated uh, the patch which was released on Tuesday um, so don't worry about it just don't use system restore and you should be okay now I know that's not really sort of the sort of advice you want to hear but there's not a lot you can do about it unless you roll back uh, but I would personally just leave it and don't use system restore now this is not the Windows 10 19 h1 version 1903 that's been released this is just a small patch that uh, Microsoft released on Tuesday so just be very careful now if you are a, any sort of a follower of me you'll know that I always pause my updates and I don't update straight away and I don't have these issues and I update when I see fit and when I see uh, that there's no issues uh, out there on the internet and all I do is keep an eye out on Microsoft and some of the news from Microsoft and some other tech sources out there so I know exactly what's going on in the environment and I'll just choose when to update my Windows 10 uh, machine now of course there's no rush to update Windows 10 it's already safe and secure you don't have to rush out the day it comes out and start being a Microsoft guinea pig and update in your system and end up falling foul to updates like this which could give you downtime uh, and if you're a business this is really crippling to a small business so don't do it just pause your updates and wait until all the glitches have been resolved now hopefully now hopefully the version 1903 is going to be uh, resolving a lot of the bugs and other issues with Windows 10 and I'm hoping uh, it is because Microsoft need to uh, pull out all the stops on this release because there's been big talk about it being the best version yet and also fixing a lot of issues that are known uh, to Windows 10 I'm hoping this is the case and hopefully uh, we can get a stable Windows 10 version and hopefully they will leave it alone and stop messing with it and keep breaking it and giving people loads of headaches but other than that, I think that's going to be about it. I'm hoping that this video has been useful to you. If you need any more help, you can always pop on our Discord server. I'm free to uh, give you some advice over there when I'm on there. And uh, there's some other people on there that can give you some help and advice as well. Other than that, have a great day. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.